I just want to say one wee thing to you as well. We're delighted to have you in McLean, Stevie. Uh, difficult enough to tie you down because Man United haven't forgotten about you. You know, you're still involved with them. If you would tell the, the viewers about that, which I think is very exciting, some of the things you've been involved with them. Yeah, well, I mean, we, we go away on, on various tours and, and play matches. Uh, we've been to South Africa last year and we've been to like the Indonesia, you know, going to um, Singapore and, and Thailand this year. There's a Man United Legends team that you, that you go with? Uh, the, well, it's all the ex-Man United players. It's, it's more Manchester, the culture of Manchester Legends, you know, like uh, Paul Scholes and Andy Cole, Dwight York. Uh, Ronnie Johnson, Blomquist, and we're, we're going out there to play against the uh, ex Liverpool players who have also got some terrific players playing. So they're great. Um, they're great uh, occasions. You know, we we get to see nice parts of the world again. And and you know, once the football actually starts, everything's very serious. But you know, once it's finished, we we have a drink and have a laugh, and you know, everything's uh, everything's great. I suppose an opportunity to see the parts of the world that whenever you were as a player, you were, you didn't see it. You know, it's, it's more a social aspect, which is fantastic. It shows you the camaraderie that there is in sport. Exactly, you know, going to these sort of countries throughout your career, playing, you know, you're sort of stuck in a hotel room a lot of the time. You know, because you're you're sort of preparing for, you know, a big game. You know, whereas this is more light-hearted and, you know, although, although as I say, we do take it serious and, and we we want to win. You know, we can't have a laugh and, you know, the camaraderie is still there, you know, before and after the game. And, of course, you signed some of your books for us today. We've got five lucky viewers with McLean's are going to win those books. So your message to them, the book's worth reading, isn't it? Well, I'm going to say that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it, as, as I mentioned before, it's been very well received. The, the reviews have been great and, you know, it's still uh, it's still going, going very well with the sales, um, you know, on Twitter. In, in the two nearly two years it's been out, I've had I don't think I've had one negative comment regarding it because you know the one thing I wanted to do when I, when I wrote the book was the, the honesty I wanted that to, to shine through more than anything and I think it has and I think um, you know I've, I've I've just been you know so pleased how it's been received. Keith, thank you very much indeed Cheers. for joining us. We're Thanks, really really appreciate it. God you. bless you. Cheers. Thank you.